Hey guys, welcome back to my channel uh, and I'll be taking you through in today's video this new bracelet that I purchased uh, on AliExpress for my Seiko SNZ53J1. Um, so the bracelet that the watch normally comes with is uh, it's a you know standard uh, standard bracelet from Seiko. Uh, so nothing special, um, but I wanted to upgrade it and I was really liking the look of the uh, the Jubilee style bracelets and I thought uh, why not give um, AliExpress a try. Um, so I was able to get this particular bracelet uh, from AliExpress for about uh, 20, $22 Australian delivered to my place and it uh, actually arrived in about two weeks time which is pretty much uh, right on the estimated time that they would say they would uh, arrive in. So. Um, and the build quality is actually pretty decent. Um, it has a nice uh, shine on it. It actually, as uh, you can see, it fits quite well with the curvature of the uh, of the watch here as well. There's no uh, visible gap, at least on the bottom side. Um, and yeah, I think uh, it fits in pretty well in there. And then also from the top as well. Yeah, the connection is actually reasonably good. It does lift out a little bit from this side, so you can see that uh, protrude out a little bit. Um, but I'm 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 pretty happy about that. It's not that visible from from afar. Um, yeah, and the bracelet quality is reasonable. It, it moves quite well. Um, it's quite comfortable to wear. I think as well. There's no uh, sharp edges or anything, um, so it doesn't feel like it rubs up against my skin. Um, the clasp is a nice steady one as well, so not a major upgrade over the uh, existing uh, Seiko one. Because uh, actually very similar to the uh, to the Seiko ones. Because um, it is pressed, but you know it's not too bad. Um, and yeah, the few things I wanted to highlight here: the actual. Um, uh, connector here was pretty tough to get in into the actual <laughs> slots into the into the lugs um, it took a little bit of time bit of uh, maneuvering around so be aware of that that it, it's not always going to be just an easy fit um, you do have to uh, play around with the, the spring loaded bars and the, the links come with a uh, screw um, screw connector so you can see that let me just zoom into that. There we go. Um, so this tile had to be screwed out. I had to remove four links out of this. Um, so it is a pretty reasonably long uh, uh, bracelet. Um, I've got a seven inch screen. I had to remove four uh, of these links out. And uh, even then, uh, it's a little bit loose on me. And I, had, I even moved the uh, adjustment in to the second spot. Um, so it's still a little bit loose but i do like a looser watch on my on my wrist anyway so you can see that there's a little bit of gap uh on the bottom so i do like to have a little bit of a space so i can shuffle the watch around a bit but this is how it looks on my wrist yeah i, I like the look of it um yeah, sure, it could be a little bit more polished and all, but uh, yeah, it's not not badly finished at all, in my opinion. Um, and it actually suits the watch quite well. There you go. There's another look at the watch. I've actually um, given an overview of this watch as well in another video of mine, so do check it out on my channel. I'll link it down below. Yeah, and let me know if you have any questions on that. I think... Uh, Decent purchase from AliExpress. Something like this on Strapco and stuff would cost at least 80, 90 bucks. I'm sure it's a bit better quality as well, but I don't want to spend a third of the price of the watch on a strap. So this will do for now. So there you go. There's a look at what's new in my household. A new bracelet from AliExpress for my Seiko watch. And the, by the way, this is a 22 millimeter. Uh, lug width bracelet. Uh, it was a, most of the ones that I found on AliExpress were 20 mil, so it was actually 
somewhat difficult to find a 22 mil one but uh did manage to get one and uh yeah, and I think it does also taper down a little bit as well to about 20 mils. So um, it gives a nice uh, slim look on the wrist. Right, here's another look. There you go. Uh, well, thank you for watching. See you later.